good morning. It's Delusion to Scholar here with your morning reading from the Language of Letting Go book by Melody Beatty right here. Copyright 1990. The series is called Letting Go in 2019. And today's date is the 12th. And it's actually a very appropriate um, type of reading today. It's called Finding Balance. And that is exactly what I hope to do on my YouTube channel from henceforth onward, is find that balance and learn when to set the boundaries and when to just kind of laugh along with things. And it's a very fine line, but I'm trying to learn it. All right, so finding balance. The goal of recovery is balance, that precious middle ground. Many of us have gone from one extreme to another. Years of taking care of everyone but ourselves followed by a time of refusing to focus on anyone's needs but our own. We may have spent years refusing to identify, feel, and deal with our feelings, followed by a period of absolute obsession with every trace of emotional energy that passes through our body. We may succumb to powerlessness, helplessness, and victimization, and then we swing to the other extreme by aggressively wielding power over those around us. We can learn to give to others while taking responsibility for ourselves. We can learn to take care of our feelings as well as our physical, mental, and spiritual needs. We can nurture the quiet confidence of owning our power as equals in our relationships with others. The goal of recovery is balance, but sometimes we get there by going to extremes. Today I will be gentle with myself, understanding that sometimes to reach the middle ground of balance, I need to explore the peaks and valleys. Sometimes the only way I can extricate myself from a valley is to jump high enough to land on a peak and then slowly ease myself down. Very good words from Melody Beatty, as always. I absolutely love her stuff. Um, like I've said, it is a bit new agey, but I really don't care. I can tolerate some new age stuff as long as it's not like outright practicing of things that I disagree with. But this is really good stuff, and it, it's really actually Bible-based because we do have to have balance in all things we've seen where things get out of balance too much of anything can be um like a gluttony type of thing like it's okay to get money from your youtube channel but when it becomes your driving force and you're saying gimme 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 and look at all the money i have and pour it out on me and whatever then that's out of balance you can have subscribers on youtube but when that becomes your driving force of being on there, there's a problem with that. That's out of balance. There's always, as people that are like into this weird stuff, which I consider weird, there's a yin and there's a yang, okay? Or a yang and a yang. I don't know how you say the word. I think it's yin. There's balance in everything, in every religion, every belief system, I believe, has this as part of it. There's a black and a white, an up and a down, an in and an out. There's always opposites, polar opposites. And then there's that equilibrium that comes in between. A little bit of this and a little bit of that balances out and equals a whole. That is what I try to establish in my life no matter what I do. Whether it's my job or it's at home. Um, like today, I'm filming some videos. When I'm done here, I'm going to probably eat a nice breakfast, make my husband some food, and get started on my housework. And then a little bit later, I might make another video. I've got some things I need to do, um, some work prep stuff I have to do, some paperwork stuff. I'll be doing that. So there's going to be a balance. I also grabbed an art book from the school that I'm going to kind of work on some portrait drawing and some figure drawing and stuff just for fun. Again, balance. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's what everybody's life needs is balance. And that's what I hope to establish in the coming year. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on the next sharing.